having a little fun with the plane mate and I'm loving this thing now I know that I'm biased because my buddy David Woods and I kind of put our heads together and invented it but I love the feeling it gets makes you have to get to P2 first parallel the where the shaft's parallel to the ground and then P3 you've got to have some structure with the arms you can't really crumple the triangle and then also it really inspires you to get the club head up because I'm fighting to get it up 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 right now and then naturally you'll see this a little bit of exaggerated shallowing and <clears throat> hit this a little bit on the neck but all these motions are actually the physical motions are better than my normal swing to be candid and I love that exit a lot more left so if I put in some an example of me just hitting one here and let's see if I can sync these two up maybe they'll be pretty synced we'll see there we go so it doesn't look too different you know getting over to from P1 to P2 um, P3 and I put a bit of work in here and then you'll see how much how much more shallowing happens you know we look at that and you go that's certainly a different look right there and then as I kind of take this down into impact I've got them a little bit out of sync right now let me sync these up a bit better that's about the same spot I necked it with the playmate on but you know just working through the feels because I tend to get a little too, a little too early extended shaft exits too high. Like I love that look on the left. On the right, it's still kind of high. And then face on. Let's take a look here. With and without it, I've got it on an old driver. You know, it's interesting how it really gives the appearance of more lag, right? That's not more lag. It's just. A shallower shaft sort of looks like Sergio a little bit and gives that illusion that there's a lot more angle between lead arm and shaft and how that works its way out into a golf ball. And then the normal swing. You know, I think a lot of people are going to have fun with this. Just going through the motions really of it because I'll explain here in a sec. I'd be remiss if I didn't give a little shout out to Darren Clark. Years ago I did a, a video for Revolution where I just took some tube and tied it off right here and kind of looped, looped it behind my belt. And that's what uh, David Woods was like, man, that's a great tip. We got to do some of that. And, and then we created this system and interchangeable bands, uh, you know, and then this shaft clip that goes on. We call this the pitch pitch band connection, and then the full swing down here at the club's kind of center of mass right here. But uh, yeah, Darren Clark loved it and sent me some videos. He's like, "Hey, take a look," and he was really trying to work on that sense of you know letting the shaft lay down so he could rotate and smash it. And he's still an amazing ball striker. Um, you know, so this is just the the pitch band, and we start this off. You'll see. In the protocols, it'll be posted pretty soon at touristurger.com under the plane mate product. You'll see how we get people started in this rotation location. Just arm here. And you can see if you flip it, or you know, you, if you're stally, it's pretty easy to see you lose this relationship right here. So getting people organized and just teaching them how to rotate, relocate, and kind of maintain this view, this little flying wedge as used to be coined in the golf machine days back back long ago well still today this little strike right here if I hit this little shot you know strong little punchy pitch type behavior now naturally if you're gonna add some loft around the greens you want to soften get the ball to go higher you're gonna take uh, you're gonna have a little bit of throw you're gonna have a little bit of lining it up a little sooner but for most folks kind of transporting that relationship you know that bent right wrist with pivot you can see there that slice of pizza, I call it, getting that kind of rotated and transported is going to really be helpful. So short shots around the green. I tell you, I love getting older folks that aren't used to moving, you know, just rotating and relocating. So when I get an older guy, I just put him in this, and I just have him go from starting form, rotate on lead heel, and kind of stand there and bounce on it a bit. And it's not too hard after a while for them to feel structure in their arms, rotate and relocate. And then we add in a little bit of 
trying to keep a bit of tension on the band, not much, just a little, and they figure out how the circle of this swing, how the hands have a circular event, how the club head has a bigger one, how it's not something you're trying to chase down a line, which crosses things up pretty quick. And then naturally, we can go from the pitch band up to, you know, full swing stuff. So I've got this on a driver. Normally I just have it on an eight iron, but the the feels for me are great. There's the there's the fitness one, the red one, the stronger one over here, and I like kind of going through the motions with that. And going through those motions, you can really feel this work right now. Like my abs or my obliques and abs have to work to go from P1 to P2 is not so bad, and then P3 is a sense of fighting and getting the club up and then relaxing that really sets the club behind and unwinding that and there again there's a motion that's going to carry itself line up overtake now with iron shots we're kind of teaching this you know rotated somewhat held off scoring swing it, like not many iron guys are hitting irons a hundred percent every once in a while front pin bunker in front you get a, the highest launch angle you know highest launch angle sharpest landing trajectory or landing angle rather and so you're mashing an iron firm green but most folks you know learning how to kind of control their iron shots be more of an artist now the driver let me see if I have a T handy there we go you know the driver we want to kind of put these feels in let me go ahead and hit one here and record it Okay, so let's hit a little shot. So the feels, we'll take a look at it. So I love the different structural feels it puts you in. And there's the replay. It's nice and wide. And there's that lay down move, unwinding. And the, the, this exit, I mean, just, that's just so much better than I use my normal golf swing. So, having some fun with the plane mate. Hope you all dig that. I gotta take my son to skateboard park. Say hi Jackson. <laughs> well take it easy.